Not sure if it would be better with double consuming or if I've got my Napoli and I really enjoy it. It's an amazing ship. It's it's a wicked ship, Stefan. It's a gamer's dream. Anyway. Um, does anybody know the consumer of Yoshino? Fully concealed. I think I have fully concealed. Or do I have double rudder? I'm not sh I'm not sure if 11.9 is the best. Is 11.9 the best? I don't know, actually. Well, we can actually see. Yeah, the rudder is not that fast, so I think I have... You're fully concealed, right? Yeah. Yeah, the rudder is not that good, so we don't have double rudder. Oh, it's fine, we can work with concealment as well. Hmm. You're 30.2. Yeah, 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 I know. Double rudder is, like, really helping the ship. But I have concealed now. Okay. Good thing is, we have to worry only about 1BB being able to overmatch our middle section. And, yeah, no CV, so we can play it really good, I guess. Let's get started. As I said, Yoshino. It's a good boat. Or how, how I like to call it, the Mega Zao. It's absolutely amazing. You don't use ra double rudder either. What are you using? Oh, you're using heavy HG, right? Let me guess. You use the heavy HG thingy. That gives uh, concealment uh, debuff when it's over 100 and something millimeter, right? You can't do it in 27 or 9, I'm not sure. Anyway. Let's get started. Wait, I'm spotted already? Oh wait, yeah, I should actually watch out. There might be DD rushing for C cap. And we don't want to get surprised by a billion battleship shells at the beginning. What could it be? Some rescuing cover us Alvaro. Okay. But we played safe at the beginning. As I said, I don't want to get blapped for at the beginning already. Oh. That was a very questionable smoke screen. But I guess somebody wants to lose HP already. Dude, what is that Alvaro doing? That was super bad, actually. Oh god, and that Yu Yang beached? <laughs> All I say to this is Kek. Good start, boys. Mm. Yeah, we should be fine here. You know, accelerate those torps. Those are some very questionable DD players. And Kaba got the Yu Yang. Beautiful. No world of warships if the DD doesn't die in two minutes. Yep. That was pretty darn bad by the Yu Yang and the Alvaro, honestly. Oh, Kaba did actually pretty decent considering what he ran into. Oh, unlucky. Can Kaba get him? Let's switch to AP for the broads heading that Dude, what is going on? Very interesting first game, I would say. Nesky keeps broadsiding. Ah, he's turning away now. Okay. So no citadels for Mr. Trendless. Kind of sad. Yeah, I thought he's gonna turn away. No way he's gonna push into an Ohio and a Yoshino. If we slow down here, we can get one more shot without being detected. Come on. Yeah, beautiful. I would have given a bit more lead, but I think it's enough. Yeah, it's enough. Let's go. That was a good salvo. We got a fire. Now we just need to pay attention that we don't run into Schlieff and secondaries, and we are actually pretty good. <clears throat> Plus, we know already that there's only one DD left, and it's, he's on the other side. Is that a classic Schlieff moment here? Charging in like a maniac. Fine by me. We can kite them though. Double fire. We might damage him. We're just gonna angle real quick against the Monty. Did he damage him? He did damage him. Nice. 
Oh, and we we hit the Devsky with a 20 cam torp. Oh, freaking lel. <laughs> we actually hit the Devsky with a torp. I can't believe it. Wait, he didn't damage on the fires. Okay, interesting. I can't believe that that Nevsky actually ate a Torp. 20 cam, by the way, boys. 20 cam Torps, by the way. <laughs> uh, lose straight. Check. I think actually it's gonna turn fully, so that's why we aim like this. Monty's not aiming for us. So we can turn in. Now we can lop over here. But I think Ohio's gonna destroy the Schlieffen anyway. And now we're just gonna push the Monty. Next is gone. Nice. Well then. Schlieffen is also gonna be done. And I think we only have a Monty left. Who's probably gonna think twice what he's gonna do now. He can't really run even. We got him encircled. Ohio, me pushing in, Sherman. And if he tries to run to the right, there's a Schlieffen. Yeah, boys, I think that Ohio is gonna be giga gone as well. <laughs> Good start. Hey Sherman, that never happened, Kappa. <laughs> we forget that. Okay, damage gone. <laughs> kind of hilarious. We won C cap, cap, they won A cap pretty much. And it's quite even still, nice. Yeah, he's gonna be gone here. Nice, didn't get a shot off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the northern flank because the BBs are in the south. And then we're gonna pretty much go up here in a like diagonal line and then probably here do a kiting turn. Depending on how hard they push. GK is probably gonna spot the summers. A shank. And we have 21, that's plus 20%, it's 25 point something range, so Goliath will be in our spotter plane range. It's just a random guess where the Goliath player might go. And I think we're actually gonna go steep to the right already, because we have the range. First shot was a pretty poor prediction, second one looks better. Hey Bardi. Hey Cageman, Dungeon Master. <laughs> Mine heavens please. Hey, pet cakes. Hello, guys. Hello. <sighs> okay, good. Hello there. I think back turret is gonna hit here. Front turret should front turret should work though. Hey, Kari, welcome. CVs are bad. Uvo, thank you for your follow. Appreciate it. Hello there. And Triffin, thank you also for the follow. Welcome, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you for the follows. And welcome to the stream. 
How are you doing? Denied. <laughs> Jesus, Mary, and the wee donkey. Okay, very interesting. Whatever. Very interesting. All stations reporting the position of a strategic target. Happy. I see the demon. We'll deal with it now. But first, before I shoot again, we're gonna go dark. I just wait. This GK, okay, GK shot us. Yeah, that's what was I, I was afraid for. If I turn now, he will go for the blind fire. We're angled enough. <clears throat> now we can turn. Also, it looks like the Moin is doing a critical mistake here. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, actually... Yo, why is the GK shooting again? Dude, that reload. But we're angled. Not enough, though. I'm a bit disappointed with the Des Moines salve, honestly. With the overpants. Could be a bit more damage. But it's fine. Now we're gonna go for the GK. First, Des Moines is running. Is that a flooding and a double fire perma? Damn, bro. <laughs> GK moment, I would say, chat. GK moment. Oh, that's a triple fire. No. Oh, damn. That dude is completely gone and he might even eat one of my 20 KM torps. Although, honestly, I think he's gonna be melted before that. Ah, he's touching it. But he's, he's gone anyway. Nice. Good job. Now we're gonna push Comparable and Des Moines and it's uh, GG. Well then. That was a classic example how Yoshino can work or how you play it. You don't want to go too close unless you know you don't have a brawling enemy that can absolutely nuke you. Uh, and yeah, then you play it rather safe. Goliath is better? Goliath is better, but that's Goliath. That's like the chat boat itself. Where's your super heal now, bro? Okay, thank you. Oh wow, <laughs> he nuked the Jainen before going. <laughs> That's 32 millimeter overmatch on the Jainen, Jainen, or Jinan. So if you ever play Austin or Jinan, if you see a Yama. Shiki or incomparable, they don't need to aim, they just need to hit your middle ship and you're dead, pretty much. Because of the 32mm deck plate, citadel plating, you gotta watch out about that one. It's just a direct hard counter to the ship, as you could clearly see here as well. Oh, I forgot about Satsuma, yeah. No, 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 Satsuma, I forgot about it. Of, of course, everything that overmatches 32. I just go Giga Broads, right? I don't think it works like this on the Jinan. The Jinan. Your best bet is going bro. It is actually, but still, I don't think it might work. <laughs> anyway, GG. Good game of the Yoshino. Confederate, nice.